Music has been a huge part of the Zelda series, and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is no exception to that. While Nintendo took a different route with Breath of the Wild's music direction, having a more calm soundtrack to fit the isolated nature the game has, this is still Nintendo's biggest Zelda game today, and to no surprise there are tons of musical easter eggs and references from previous games within the series. But with the game's soundtrack being so much different from previous titles, some are obvious to spot, well, some aren't as obvious. So in this video, I'll be going through all the easter eggs within Breath of the Wild while comparing them to the original. To start off, one of the first musical easter eggs you'll find within the game is in the Temple of Time. The music that plays near the Temple of Time is actually a very slow piano rendition of the Song of Time, which is also the same song that plays in Ocarina of Time's Temple of Time. Listening to it normally, you'll just hear a few random notes every few seconds, but if you cut out all the dead air in between each of the notes and have them play one after the other, you'll hear the similarities. <laughs> While this is very subtle, it really shows the amount of detail Nintendo put to put in something that most people wouldn't even notice. Another reference you'd find early within the game is the music that plays during King Rome's final wish to Link. During the cutscene, there is a rendition of Hyrule Castle's theme from A Link to the Past and Twilight Princess that play. A more obvious easter egg is within Rito Village. Its theme is almost like a remixed version from Dragon Roost Island's theme from The Wind Waker. With both places being known as the home of the Rito, it sure makes sense why. Next is Zora's Domain, which is also more of a remix from the previous versions, as both Ocarina of Time and Twilight Princess kept the same theme for their domains. Another obvious reference is found at every stable within the game, as each one plays the same rendition of Epona's song, similar to both Ocarina of Time's Lon Lon Ranch along with Majora's Mask's Romani Ranch.
Mask can also be found playing opponent's song at certain stables with his accordion. Along with the opponent's song being the same, the Great Fairy's Fountain theme has also been the same throughout the series, with Breath of the Wilds being a remixed version of it. Speaking of both opponent song and the Great Fairies theme, the theme for the horse god Melania has both of those songs mixed together. Now moving on to hands down one of the best soundtracks within the game, Breath of the Wild's version of Hyrule Castle. Its theme has more than one song referenced in it. To start off, one that caught me by surprise is as the music first picks up. You'll hear the Ballad of the Windfish from Link's Awakening. The same song that played on top of Mount Tamaranch before entering the nightmare for the game's final boss. It's a great reference with how Hyrule Castle is also at the end of Link's journey within Breath of the Wild. that plays is Zelda's Lullaby. This theme is referenced a lot throughout the game, but hearing Hyrule Castle's rendition is something else. along with the part that sounds very similar to the original theme from The Legend of Zelda. The last theme, which isn't much, is the part where it sounds similar to Ganon's organ from Ocarina of Time while scaling Ganon's tower. The same bit is also played when first entering Hyrule Castle, preparing you for what's up ahead. More subtle reference that some may not notice as easily are the themes that play when you ride your horse during the day and night. During the day throughout the theme you'll hear a slow rendition of Zelda's lullaby.
At night you'll hear the main theme for the series, from the original Legend of Zelda. Another subtle one is the music that plays when you're in Link's house. The theme is a sort of rendition of the theme that would play while inside a house from prior games to the series. The game also has many musical references that aren't really hidden, like when obtaining the Master Sword and hearing the same fanfare that would play throughout the series. And while the game has many more similar to that, I thought I'd go over the more obvious ones that I found throughout the game. It is such an amazing feeling to hear those beloved soundtracks in Breath of the Wild. It honestly felt surreal the first time I heard some of these references. Music plays such a huge role to the series, and it's insane how much impact it really has. Making this video was quite the ride for me, going back and listening to all those amazing tracks from the series. I had such a fun time making this video, even though it took me a while, but I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know what other musical references and easter eggs you found throughout the game. Anyways, please leave a like if you enjoyed, it would seriously mean a lot. But I've been Zelda Master, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.